Hello and welcome to Braintree High School for today's live stream broadcast of Boys Varsity Soccer. Mike Wilson bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV as Braintree takes on Bridgewater Raynham. Braintree coming in off of a solid victory over Brookline. 3 0 win here at home as they play here in the rain here at Alumni Stadium. I believe these two sides played earlier this season to a 6 0 game in favor of Braintree as. The Trojans looking for a shot here as Branch with a strong challenge and we will see our first corner kick here just seconds in to the first half. Two 40 minute halves at the high school level as Bridgewater Raynham wearing pink uniforms, Branch wearing their home blues. Off the corner, it's sent right back towards the sidelines and out of bounds, where we will see a throw in in the far corner. Soccer team here for Braintree has not had a ton of home games this season, so they're probably going to. Get a lot of them late in the year, which is a good time for it. This one is sent up and over the goal and through the crossbar. Head coach Jamison not happy on the sidelines as Bridgewater Raynham won a couple of balls there in the air. Neither coach really too thrilled right now with how things have started in this game, which obviously can be expected here in a game where we're probably going to deal with some wet conditions throughout the game, which we have the privilege of getting a little bit of escape from the rain up here in the booth. As this will be Silva now for Braintree. That's Braintree with another turnover. Sloppy start here to begin the game. Is Carney able to take it away? As Braintree now looks to make something happen on the other side of the field as that through ball from Julian was knocked away. Julian really has picked up the offense for Braintree, getting a lot of goals from McClory as well. So Braintree finding some balanced scoring, and they're going to need it here as the season moves on. Against some of the better teams in the Base Day Conference. It's obviously a non league game here against the Trojans. Anytime the ball goes back towards the goal, they're going to have to be careful with the wet ball. Certainly could see some mishandles, whether it's in the air by a goalie trying to catch the ball or a player heading it could go in a different direction than they anticipate. As Braintree now with it on the attacking side of the field, this is going to be McClory. McClory still battling with possession. McClory shakes a couple and now looks for a cross, still dribbling it and sends it high and up and over the net. Good shot, but obviously a little bit too high. So both sides with a early attempt on goal. Neither side scoring as we get 36-20 to go here in the first half. This one will be sent out by the keeper for the Trojans. Line drive towards the midfield mark where Braintree heads it ahead. And now on side, a chance here for Julian. And that one is actually set on goal by McClory. Easy stop for the goalie. As this one sent in towards the Braintree defense. Strong kick from the goalie. As Fernandez now will defend. Taken away neatly by Kennedy. The ball is just shy of midfield. And now Bridgewater Random looking to work it into the Braintree end. As both sides still looking to gain some traction here on a wet field. Rentry sends it out, and Carney with a little short pass as it gets back to midfield. No score. I believe Braintree's record now stands at 7-4 and four after that win against Brookline on Saturday. So playing a lot of road games, doing some good work on the road. Had a couple of tough defeats. 
They were beaten pretty soundly by Framingham. Frankie able to work it to the near sideline where it will go out of bounds and we will see a throw in. Yeah, right around the 40 yard line on the turf field. Back down the field looking for Julian, it's too far. Some instruction from head coach Jamison on his way to Retrieved that ball that went out of bounds. Both Frantry forwards able to win that ball in the air. As this is Kennedy moving it up the field. Long ball up looking for McClory with the keeper coming out. McClory has it with the goalie out of his net. A free net to shoot at and a nice save made by the defense. As the goalie was out of his moorings. And a foul called here as Braintree went quick with it for some reason and now not able to get anything from it. Not really sure what that call was, it was so quick. As it's sent to the far side of the field where it is kept in play by Braintree and now cleared back to midfield by Bridgewater Raynham. Switching field to the far side. And a long ball where play is onside. This will be the Braintree goalie coming out to make the play. Tapantanakis coming out. Low line drive on the foot now of Carney as Carney has it tapped away. Braintree with a steal of their own. be a throw in here for the visitors. Branch will play it all the way back to the last line of defense. And on the far side of the field, it's Civitolo. Branch works it down the sideline, but out of bounds. 32-10 remaining here in the first half in a scoreless game. Both sides battling for possession. It's Bridgewater Raynham with possession now down the far side of the field. And it goes out of bounds for a goal kick. Ready to send this one out on the goal kick. And this one's blasted away over midfield where it bounces for Bridgewater Raynham. near side. Nice strong play by the defender Fernandez. Over to Julian and Julian not able to keep it in bounds. Deep in the Braintree territory they will have a throw in. Fernandez deep in his own territory will throw this one in for Braintree. Just 10 minutes in to the opening half with no score. This one is deflected out of bounds off Braintree.
Now in the defensive zone, it is cleared out by Maloney. And McClory able to split past one defender. Now Carney up ahead for Julian. Julian had the ball knocked off of his foot and now was shaken up a little bit on the play, but he looks to be okay. As it spins back for Silva. Silva right in front of his own bench. And it goes out of bounds off of Braintree. And we're going to have a stoppage here. Looks like Julian may work his way to the sideline here for an injury. No, he's going to stay in. Played first by the visitors. As Julian now back with it. A little bit of ball handling. Tough pass there for Carney, who was able to get it. And all the way back to the last line of defense for Trotta as they switch to the other side of the field. Little shake and bake move by McClory. And back to the defense it goes for Civitolo. Right back up, looking for Carney, who was shoved in the back a bit, able to keep the possession. As now a Bridgewater Raynham player down on the field and injured here with 28 and a half remaining in this first half. It looks like we may have a stoppage here as the player is able to get back to his feet. So both sides have had a player shaken up, but we are going to see a substitution. The player is just going to go to the far side of the field. Slick surface. And that one goes out of bounds. And it will be a corner kick. So Branch will get an opportunity here off the corner. Their first of the game. We saw Bridgewater Raynham just less than a minute in getting a chance on the other side as Braintree looking to capitalize here for the game's first goal. High arcing kick winning the ball in the air was Braintree but not a shot on goal yet as it spins in front of the goal and now the keeper able to grab it just in time as Kennedy was lurking looking to send that one home. Played back out, and now towards the goalie as Papantanakis will roll it out to his defense. This will be Fernandez with some time and space, makes the pass that was taken away. And on the far side, it's Braintree again. Knocked away by Bridgewater Raynham, looks to make something happen here off the Braintree giveaway. As it's knocked away by the defense, and to the sideline for a throw. inside the box where Braintree looks to clear it, takes a bounce off their own player and now it's cleared out onto the foot of McClory who's neatly able to cradle that ball past the defender Kennedy pretty good ball movement by Braintree before that little giveaway as the ball now is up ahead to Carney who is well offside throw in on the far side of the field. So we're 15 minutes into the first half. Braintree's been the more dominant team here early, but it doesn't matter right now. On the scoreboard is a chance for the Trojans, and it's just wide on a chance off of a little set play off the throw in. So Bridgewater Random nearly getting a gift wrap goal as the defense for Braintree kind of falling a little asleep. We'll see 
four substitutions for Braintree at the next whistle. She wants substitutions. So we'll have a handful of changes for Braintree as we see four substitutions coming in. Won't be surprised if we see a handful of changes all game long with both sides having to deal with some tough weather conditions. The wind doesn't seem to be a factor in this game, but rain obviously just enough to be annoying on the field. As the defense now will play it to the far side. Nearly able to steal that is Confaloni. Julian trying to work his way by the defense and had it knocked away. Branchy double teaming, able to steal. Julian now with the left foot looking for a cross. Does bend it high and just wide on a pretty good shot attempt. And it's Branchy chipping it right back into the box. Out of the reach now of Garcia. And at midfield, it's one on three as the Trojans wait for some reinforcements. Braintree able to take it right away. As Fernandez battling and able to win the ball. 50-50 battle. Braintree coming away with it. Nice little move by Silva, but he gives it away. And then Silva able to take it back. Both sides doing a nice job getting their feet in the middle of things and causing some havoc. As this shot will be taken from well out and a good 10 yards wide, as we'll see another substitution for Braintree. 22 and a half remaining here in the first half, no score. Sent out on a low line drive, not a good kick. And then a handball, I believe, on Trojans. Branchy sends it out. The ball spins towards midfield. Shoulder to shoulder collision. That was Williams going in with the body for Braintree, a junior midfielder. And another foul. Just inside the 40. This will be sent out on the free kick. Into the Braintree defensive zone, and that's going to be a handball on Braintree. So both sides have been guilty of that here in the last minute or two. The ball will be back all the way around the 20-yard line. Two players right around the ball. Looks like a left-footed and a right-footed shot. Swing it to his left, and the shot released, and through traffic, a easy stop. Kapitanakis will send it out again in a low-line drive. As Brancher right back to it. the field being used. Tapped away by Braintree. And now working it up the field. Kennedy with some pretty good work there for the Wops. Braintree plays it quickly and again playing it offside. So some certain frustration built in here in this first half for Braintree who's now been Offsides a couple times.
halfway through this first half, still scoreless. Thank you for watching here on our live stream broadcasts of Boys Varsity Soccer, Braintree and Bridgewater Raynham, a non-conference matchup, second meeting of the season between these two, Braintree defeating the Trojans handily on the road in their last meeting and trying to do the same thing here but obviously having to deal with some tough weather as this one's up ahead looking for Julian who's going after the ball it's loose and Julian gets to it first now looking for a shot spins takes the shot and it's low and on the ground and the goalie's able to read that one well seeing the goalie come out of his net a couple of times leaving an open cage to shoot at and for the second time Braintree is not able to capitalize Last time it was McClory. Kennedy now here on the short side of the field. It is Julian. Nice job with the defender right on him. As Branchy with a quick throw and deep into the defensive end as the Trojans will clear. But all Branchy here on the send right back. Shot release from out high and a save is made on a quick release from Williams. as Braintree called for another foul. So an excellent shot from almost 30 yards out from Williams, and the goalie had to really make a late lunge to get a hand on that ball. It didn't look like it was going to be all that difficult of a save, and then all of a sudden it turned into a quick one as Julian now middle of the field and redirected on goal, and a save is made. Really nice pass from Julian as he got it over in the direction of Garcia. As Braintree's had probably four or five excellent scoring chances here in this first half, which have not gone in. Seventeen forty-five to go as the clock continues to drain. out of bounds and a throw in now as Braintree works it to the middle of the field Bridgewater Random on the far side Headed away by the Braintree defense a couple of times as they continue to exchange headers. That's Braintree with it on the far side. Play remaining on side. Julian cuts back. Left footed shot and another save made. So Julian, who's had two grade A scoring chances in the last two minutes, and unfortunately not able to label that one to a corner, it was right at the goalie. Well, he's been busy here for Bridgewater Raynham, and it's had to be very good early because Braintree could easily have a couple goals on the board as another foul called. And the foul going against Bridgewater Raynham looked like the referee signaled the other way, but obviously changing his opinion. Cleared in by Braintree. Julian looking to win the ball in the air. It spins back for Silva. Left-footed shot, and he sent it wide. Trying to label that one to the far post. Good idea, but obviously wide on the shot. Balls here to the near sideline. And a hard challenge. And it looks like this may be uh, just a handball. I wasn't sure if the foul occurred before the ball went out of bounds as it's thrown into the box. Braintree first to it. 
The player's on. Silva fires the shot, and he just shot it high and wide on a nice release from about 18 yards out. Another good look for Braintree. Braintree right now doing everything but score. Braintree very easily could have a couple goals here in this first half, but they have not been able to finish yet. Long run up the field, and it's going to go out of bounds. Bridgewater ran him onside. Is a chance now, and Brantry able to knock him off it at the last second. It was an excellent scoring chance for the visitors, but Brantry able to get a big break there as the ball was knocked away at the last second. And now Brantry looking up the field, and they're offside for the fourth time. The Brantry players hanging their heads there, but three different players were offside on the play. Near sideline, first to it is Braintree. Good strong work by Williams. And now Papa Tanakis out to make the save. Overrunning the ball. It's Williams again, first to it. And up ahead for Garcia. Chance now for Maloney as he works it all the way down the far side of the field. Looking to catch up to his Reen. Reen cuts back. Reen to the middle, looking for Garcia. Nice little heel flick. But again, it's all the way back towards midfield. And at the midfield mark, it's all pink jerseys for Bridgewater Rain to clear it up. Takes a branch, you bounce. Big collision. Knocked out of bounds, where Braintree will have some substitutions. Braintree with a short throw in and then a foul will go on Carney. Far side now, as this one goes out of bounds. And towards the keeper, where Papa Tanakis will send it out. Scoreboard has gone off. I didn't notice it until just now. Obviously, that's going to have an effect on how much time we'll know is left. Referees do have the official time on the field. There is no score, though. We know that. Good work by the Brantry defense for the moment. Carney looking to make a play. 
As McClory now with the player on his back. As play continues. And Brantry back up the field and Carney again a stride offside. So that's clearly been the strategy for Bridgewater Raynham trying to really pack that defense forward. Try and force Brantry to go offside which is Clearly happened now five or six times in this half alone. Out of bounce and some substitutions. If they do adjust the clock or it comes back on, we'll keep you in mind, the viewers here at home, with how much time is left, but we do not know because the clock has shut off. As the Brantry defense clears it away. That was Maloney doing a nice job. In on goal and an easy save. Now Braintree, McClory, Julian onside with Carney to his left. Oh, what a move. Here is Julian's shot, and he just missed, and Carney couldn't get a foot on it. That would have been a pretty finish. So Carney, who had maybe just gotten a stride further, would have been able to send that one home, but obviously the shot was intended to be to that far post and in, but it just went wide. And if Braintree was able to get a foot on it, that was an easy goal on that back post. As the ball was out of bounds. Julian able to get past the defender for a moment, trying to get back to his feet after he went down after a collision with the ball. I guess there's somewhere around 10 minutes left based on where we started. There haven't really been any stoppages. Kept in by Braintree. That was a nice quick turn with the ball by Fernandez. As the Trojans able to pick it up now using the far side of the field, but passed too far. Throwing going out of bounds. You wonder if the wind had an effect on that one. Miss kicked as Braintree will be first to it. And on the far side of the field now, looking ahead for Carney, who again is well offside. Trojans again getting another offside. As here on the near side, it goes out of bounds. Big collision as both sides able to get back to their feet. McClory able to win it for Braintree. Off the back of the defender and it goes out of bounds for a Braintree throw. 
thrown in quickly, looking for Julian, as it's again out of bounds, and Branchy will again take it. Not the best throwing as it's worked away. And getting tripped up, that'll be a foul. Silva taken down. So the free kick getting set to be taken by Braintree. As it's sent in. Back post, and it's punched out by the goalie. And Braintree looking to get to it first, which they do. Now looking for a release on the far side. It's McClory. Has Carney inside. Looking to get it to him. He spins it on goal, and it goes just wide. As Julian looks to get to it, and it goes out of bounds for a corner kick. So Braintree with two good looks here on the possession. Just have not been able to get it by him. So an excellent opportunity here for Braintree. Again, the clock is off. I say somewhere around six or seven minutes left here in the half. As the ball out of bounds, and it will be a Braintree throw-in, thrown in by Julian. Trying to get it inside the box to McClory, and it's cleared all the way back out over midfield. Where it's all Braintree back there. This is Madden. Madden will send it right back up. As Braintree is offside again. Players not really understanding why they've been offside, but it's been pretty obvious from up here. The coach is also telling their players that they're offside. As Carney now gets to it. He's going to send it to the far side of the field, but Got too much of the middle of the field, and it goes in on goal. Win in the air on the header as Julian pushed in the back, trying to win that ball. And it goes out of bounds off Braintree. Good win in the air by Kennedy as Julian now cuts it back, feeds Kennedy. Kennedy with traffic. A oh, nice pass in the middle of the field for Carney. Trying to get through a couple. He does find his way. Braintree is again offside. Braintree looking to make the aerial pass. They may have slowed things down just enough. It's a pretty good movement here for Braintree the last couple possessions with the ball. Still looking for the game's first goal. Braintree has dominated play. And it hasn't even really been closed, but the scoreboard still reads that 0-0 score. Play on side. Braintree with a little two-on-one action here. Shot attempt, and Julian sends it home. As McClory feeds Julian, who scores the game's first goal, and Braintree finally able to remain on side. And they capitalize here on the little partial 2 on one break. Able to cash in right in front as Julian strikes again. He's been the go-to guy here this season. The offensive juggernaut for the Womps and continuing to add to his total as McClory again with a pretty pass. That tandem has really factored in. Braintree now looking for more as the goalie able to make the save. Far side of the field is Bridgewater Raynham now as they get over midfield. Braintree's made some adjustments, which has certainly helped them move the ball up the field a little bit better. But the Trojans now are going to need to make some adjustments of their own because Braintree's starting to really control the play. This could turn into a lopsided game if play continues this way. As Braintree is onside. 
McClory cuts back. McClory to the far side as Smith sends it in towards the box and Julian right there looking to get a foot on it. Now Julian again sends it high and wide and some contact as well after the release. It'll go over the net and a goal kick. Here in the final minutes now of the half. So Julian again has made a lot of good things happen when he's ever had the ball. Let's see if Rancher can continue to feed him here. As it's worked over the midfield mark to the far side now. As the Trojans look to make something happen here. Back shy of midfield. Trying to bend it in towards the box. And Branchy will clear it back out. As Silva works it here on the near side. And it's Kennedy over to Carney. As Julian, who has the only goal of this game. Cuts it back. Now with the left foot. Looks for the shot. Sends it back post and just wide. As Braintree again had a chance on that back post to send it home. And the first half comes to a close here. Right as Braintree had a chance to score in the waning seconds of this first half. So a good first half of this ball game as Braintree able to hold on to a one nothing lead here after 40 minutes of action at Alumni Stadium as we will continue our live stream broadcast after a quick break here on BCAM TV.
Welcome back to Alumni Stadium, getting ready to start the second half here at Braintree High School. A 1-0 lead for Braintree here at home, but certainly could be a lot more. Mike Walsh bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV as, again, we live stream our broadcasts here. Braintree Athletics, as we get ready to begin half number two. As Braintree is going left to right here for the second half. As the ball remains in play, as Smith now for McClory. Carney all the way back to the other side for Garcia. Fernandez on the far side and Braintree continuing to make some pretty nice passes right around that midfield mark. And just played back to the last line of defense for the Trojans. As Braintree jumps ahead looking to keep that ball in play but cannot. And the clock obviously remaining off now so we'll have to try and do our best to Keep an eye out for the referee signal. So assuming there's no injuries or stoppages, should see this game end somewhere around 5.30. That's a number to keep an eye on, or a time to keep an eye on. And this one's moved over midfield with Braintree's first to it. Stepping ahead, but just a stride too far as Braintree was again looking to make that play. Bending this one in towards the box as Braintree cannot clear it. Middle of the field, the shot released and a save made by Papa Tanakis, who again hasn't had a ton of work, but has made the routine plays, which is something that's obviously important when you don't get as much work. You still got to stay in the game and remain focused as this one is headed right back towards the goalie, who will throw it out. On the near side, it goes out of bounds for a branchy throw. So the Womps right now with a 1-0 lead over the Trojans from Bridgewater Raynham High School. Second meeting of the season between the two teams. Branchy with the season edge, 1-0. And obviously leading here at home. Hasn't been a perfect game played by the Wumps, but they have played better as this game has gone on. Certainly right at the last 10 minutes of that first half was when Branchy was probably at their best. Cleared out by Maloney. And right back in for Fernandez. Fernandez... Up ahead for Kennedy, and Kennedy now finds Julian, who's had a head of steam. McClory to his right with Carney in the middle of the box. Trying to get to back post, open score! And the tandem combines this time the other direction, and assists for uh, Julian and the goal by McClory. So last time... It was the other way around. It was McClory feeding Julian for the game's first goal in the first half. And now it's Julian returning the favor for McClory with an easy goal right in front as Braintree doubles their lead to make it 2-0. And certainly can tell that Braintree had had some words at halftime. They've looked like a pretty focused team here to start this second half. Doing a much better job, too, with the communication on the field. Stepping in there is Smith. Smith able to work it back to midfield for the play of Trotta. As Branchy looking for more. See if the Trojans try and make an adjustment here with a 2 nothing deficit. Just hammering this one down the field and nobody in the vicinity. Branchy's just going to let this one roll out of bounds. Deeper in their own territory. As that one goes out of bounds, a fortunate play for Braintree as it wasn't really thrown into the space like Braintree was hoping for.
Foul going to be called against Braintree. This one will go on Maloney. Got the forearm out. A little push in the back. To a free kick around the 25-yard line here in the turf field. Chance here for the Trojans who really need something to go their way. Down a pair. Looking to send this one in on goal. And this one in on net. Papatanakis able to kick it out or punch it out. And then it's sent in on goal and high and over. So the Trojans getting a great opportunity. Papatanakis left that one free in front of the cage. And Braintree lucky that that one was not sent in as the goalie was down. Seeing both goalies a couple times try and punch it away. Sometimes it's a good play. Other times it's tough to position the ball when you do that. As the ball was knocked off the foot of Julian and back the other way comes VR. Down on the far side of the field. And it's Braintree with plenty of jerseys back there. A lot of blue back there for Braintree as they pack the defense. Sent towards goal again, and Papatanakis reads it well. So not a ton going the way of the Trojans right now, but here's a rush up the field, and it's McClory getting by the defense. Open cage, and he scores. His second of the half, and Braintree has blown it wide open. And I'm not sure if the coach for BR wants a timeout or if he is upset with what just took place. Probably a little bit of both. And we will have a timeout on the field. The defense making a mistake there. McClory obviously playing that one tough, but McClory probably with the put-away strike here, his second of the half. And Braintree now extending a 3-0 lead. We'll take a break in the action as we have a break on the field. Timeout. BR with Braintree Head 3 0. We'll be right back. Play resuming after the timeout. Braintree, a 3 0 lead. So, Braintree, who had really played a good first half, not a great first half, playing an excellent second half here to start. And Smith, who just made a great play moments ago, is just cleared out by the defense. McClory, who has two strikes and an assist, so he's got three points in this game. Julian with a couple of assists himself, or a couple points himself. One goal and an assist. It's really been that same story here for most of the season for Braintree. Those have been the real two offensive weapons. Carney has factored in quite a bit as well, but McClory and Julian really seem like they have been on the same page quite often. And after what was a sluggish start, Probably factor in some of the weather conditions in this game. Why the Braintree team had not played as well as they would have liked here to start. But they have picked it up and they have, play, have definitely played more significantly. Comes away with possession. It's Carney being double teamed now. Carney able to get it past the defense for a moment, staying with the play down the far side. Here's a nice rush up the field for Carney, but 
That one obviously going out of bounds. Pretty good effort. Glory, another nice play with the ball. Middle of the field for Julian. Able to ward off the defender. Now he's got some space looking for a second of the game. Shoots and scores! Two for Julian, two for McClory. And a 4 nothing lead. And Brentry turning it on here in the second half. Certainly got to be impressed by what Branchy has done here in the second half. I was expecting a little bit more of this in the first half. Obviously, the scoring has been phenomenal, but Branchy just didn't get a lot of bounces to go their way. A couple of shots that really weren't placed as well as you'd like, and Branchy's made those adjustments. Got to give them credit for making the necessary adjustments to translate on the scoreboard now, as Branchy scored three times already here in the second half, and we've only played probably 10 or 15 minutes into this second half. So now three points for Julian. Three points for McClory. Here is Carney looking to get in the action. Carney looking for the shot. Finds McClory and McClory with the hat trick. As McClory deflects it off the defense and sends it home for the hat trick. And Braintree just pouring it on. A 5 nothing lead and we may see some substitutions in a hurry for Braintree. Bridgewater Random took a timeout too after Branchu with a couple of strikes. Branchu opening up now a 5 to nothing advantage as Julian looks to get by the defense. And right now, Branchu just getting whatever they want here on the field. Nice play with the ball there by Branchu. A shot on goal, and the referee was not watching the play. And a card given to Carney on the way to the bench in a 5 nothing game. Really silly to be taking that. A 5 nothing lead, I don't really understand what there could be to complain about with your team with that convincing of a lead. Obviously, he wish he has a goal or two in this game, but other than that, I can't understand what could be to discuss there on that far side. And now Braintree, obviously, as you see, everybody lined up at midfield. Looks like just about everybody going to come off close to it. Cards do add up as well, so that's obviously something to factor in as well for Braintree. You really don't want to see a player ever really put their team at a disadvantage. But nonetheless, things need to move on, and Braintree obviously, again, have gone towards the bench. And now looking to see some of the reserves get an opportunity to add to a Braintree 5 nothing advantage. Back up the field it goes. And played out of bounds. Thank you. 
Might see a goalie change shortly as well, which is the right thing to do as the shot was blocked. Defense having some issues in their own end as it's played to the sideline. Nice branch right back on the ball. Back at midfield. And to the far side by Williams. Middle of the box on the cross. It is cleared away momentarily as it goes out of bounds. And the signal will be for a corner kick. So the Trojans, who thought that ball would have been off Braintree, obviously would have played it if they knew otherwise. Instead, it turns into a corner kick where Braintree will try and make something happen. They haven't done too much off their corners yet. Maybe they'll try something here. Is the goalie able to punch it away? I believe this is still the same goalie in there for Bridgewater Raynham here in a 5 nothing game. Hasn't necessarily been all his fault. Defense hasn't really helped out much in the second half. French has just been too strong, as we will see a corner on the other side. Confaloni looked like he wanted to take the corner kick instead. This will be number 20 for Braintree, Garcia. This one right towards the box and headed in as Braintree strikes in front. And we'll have to see who got that goal for Braintree. A handful of players in there. And that may have been Williams who got ahead on that one to make it a 6 nothing game. Williams has really had a strong game. Both teams making substitutions in what has turned into a rout here at Alumni Stadium. Far side, it will be a throw in for Braintree. Into the body now, as that one was knocked away. Shaken up a little bit on that play was Louis. Cleared out by Braintree. As they're on the way to another victory here at home. Where again, they have not had a ton of home games. They did win over Brookline here at home 3 0. They're up 6 0 here at home now over Bridgewater Raynham. So looking on their way to back to back shutouts potentially. But they have made a handful of substitutions, clearing out the bench. And they have not, well, they did make the change in goal as well. Didn't see that. Must have been right after the last play. As this one goes out of bounds. So Braintree will throw it in. Deeper in their own territory, this is McDonough who threw it in. And Braintree will do it again. McDonough to the middle of the field. It's played back to the defense of Zoo. Take away by the Trojans who continue to play hard here. Long ball up the field as Braintree getting to it. Looking for a shot is Reen. And Reen has it deflect out of bounds and another corner kick. Braintree with Another corner kick. This 
one is sent in to the back post after Brantry scored on their last corner kick. As this will be Williams, who just got a header on the last one, playing it back for the foot now of Reen. Reen all the way across for Zoo, and this one's going to roll out of bounds. A rare miscue here in the second half for Braintree. So the Trojans looking to break the shutout. A oh, big hit there by Williams, and that's obviously going to be a foul. Can't do that as he comes in with the shoulder. Player seeming to be okay for Bridgewater Raynham. So certainly don't want to see any more cards here on Braintree as this game moves on with the advantage. That was a strong challenge. Certainly the right call as he came in with the shoulder. And the free kick will be just over 30 yards out. This one blasted in towards the goal and it goes just wide. So the chance by the board. sideline now as Zoo will play it up ahead uh, for the touch of Confaloni. Confaloni the far side of the field as it works back into the defense both players able to get a touch on it as Braintree escapes with the ball it's McDonough, McDonough looking for the shot McDonough still going forward and has it knocked away at the last moment and it will be another corner kick Inside the box, Braintree getting the first header on that one, but it was sent out. As Braintree will be onside. That was the big problem. The first half was remaining onside. As the play is kept inbounds. Certainly hurt as the player trying to block that one is the Braintree goalie now out. And we're going to have a stoppage here for the injured player. Obviously taking a shot low there. As the injured player hobbles off the field. So again, Braintree has made the change in goal. And this one in on net and a save made. Sent up ahead as Braintree will head it forward. Played by the keeper. Having it back now. And this one goes out of bounds, where it will be a Braintree throw in. Pass up ahead for Zoo. Actually, that was Louis. The intended pass was for. I 
Archer will throw it in from their own end. As it goes out of bounds, off the touch of Garcia. field now. The visitors from Bridgewater Raynham. As it hits a little friendly fire and Branchers defense will clear it back out. Williams will send it to the far side of the field and a long run up the field for Rufo. Rufo continuing to pester the defender and it goes out of bounds where it will be in the direction of BR. with it now in the middle of the field. Goes out of bounds again. So if you had just tuned in, certainly missed the fireworks to start the second half where Braintree scored four very, very quick goals. And they have not let up. They lead 6-0. Three for McClory, who had the hat trick. Two for Julian. And Williams off a header. Off the corner kick, set play. And now Branchy with another steal. Player down for Braintree, who was tripped up. So Braintree taking their time here. Obviously, time is on their side. Again, if you are wondering how much time is left, the clock was shut off at one point in the first half, right towards the end of the half, and has not come back on. As it will be a throw in. I say there's not more than probably 10 minutes or so. Even though the game is a 6 0 game, two teams do have to play the full 80, even though you'd probably like to see this one end mercifully. The foul called in the air against Bridgewater Raynham. But again, you have a lot of substitutions in the game, so you want your players to get a chance to play. They don't generally get a chance all game long, so certainly when you get a chance to shine, you want to make your case to get some more playing time to either coach. And in a case like this, you wonder with a late goal, Maybe you earn a little bit more time moving forward as it looks like Branch is going to go to the bench for a third goalie of this game. So I believe the goalie who had entered does not have a number, but I'm assuming for Braintree. It is O'Mahony that went in and now set to check in will be McClure. So just getting an opportunity to see all three goalies get in the game, which... Generally, you would think it's not a good thing when you see all three goalies play. You're thinking that maybe neither goalie played well and then you had to go to a third string. Or you have some injuries, which none of those two things happen, which is great. As this one is played back in by Braintree and out of bounds for a goal kick. As Braintree now does make the change in goal,
Cleared out by Braintree. Long up the field, and the goalie will make the play. So Braintree has pretty much emptied the bench all the way around. They have their third goalie in. It looks like they're going to get every single player in this ball game. And this is in towards the goalie. who will make the play. McClure will send it out. Braintree's goalies have not been busy, especially here in the second half. This one will be played down the far side of the field. Looking for a cross now. Sent out by McClure. McClure up the field, and this one will roll out of bounds. So the throw will be sent in. And in the middle of the field, Braintree will touch it first. This will be Williams. Keeper will make the play, playing it out with his feet. First to the ball is Louie, as Louie cuts to the far side. Louie with the shot attempt, and a great save is made as Louie is denied on the doorstep. Right back in the middle of the field now, it's Garcia with another save made. So Branchu with two excellent scoring opportunities, both denied by the goalie who made two phenomenal stops, his two best of the game. As Branchu was looking for at least one more before the end of this game. Defense will clear. Middle of the field now, as it's knocked in that direction by McDonough. As McDonough plays it into the Braintree bench. with a long pass up the field. Here is Garcia, one on three. Garcia looking to use his speed as he has it knocked off his foot. And the defense with a pretty nice play as it goes out of bounds in front of the Braintree bench. It'll be thrown in by McDonough. Played right back out by Zoo. Up ahead, looking for the chest of Louie. As it goes towards the goalie, and then headed right back up by Louie, who's had a couple of really good looks here in the second half. The player not even playing the ball. An easy call against BR for a hold or a push, whichever one you want to call. As Brent, you will have a free kick just outside the penalty box. Chance in on goal, and this one is stopped. Heads is played right back out. Popped high in the air, where Braintree doesn't get a good piece of that header. And played up the field again. Back into the Braintree defense. Sides continuing to play hard here down the stretch. As 
Braintree has emptied their bench here in the second half, including using their backup two goalies as well. We're going to hold on for the shutout. And that will do it here in the ball game. The final whistle at Alumni Stadium as Braintree with one goal in the first half and they explode for five. Here in the second half, a six to nothing win as Braintree gets a hat trick here in the second half from McClory. Two goals for Garcia, or make it Julian, and a goal off of a corner kick from Williams, winning the ball in the air late in the second half. And Branchy with a 6 0 shutout. Again, Papatanakis saw the goal and started getting the victory. And then also O'Mahony as well as McClure all getting a chance to play here today. The entire team getting an opportunity to play. And Braintree with a lot of good things here in this one. As they get another home victory. As you see Braintree and Bridgewater Random shaking hands here at midfield. Again, a win against Brookline. 3-0 here at home. And then another, shut, another shutout, 6 nothing, As Braintree with another victory. So that will conclude our coverage here for our live stream broadcast of Braintree Athletics. Thank you for watching. On behalf of our camera person, Christine Patterson, I'm Mike Wassell. We'll see you next time.